Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare an SD card for the Raspberry Pi on Ubuntu. Um, this will, these instructions will work on any Linux distribution as most of it is going to be in the terminal. We're just using Firefox at the moment to download the image. So you're going to want to head over to www.raspberrypi.org forward slash downloads and find the latest Raspbian Wheezy image. Um, then if you click on direct download and wait a few seconds um, you'll be able to download the image and then save the file somewhere which uh, should show up in your downloads folder but I've already done that so we don't need to do that um, and then it's going to be useful if you keep this page open for just a minute um, so we're going to go to the dash and find the terminal so the terminal uh, is going to start in your home directory. So if you type PWD, which stands for Print Working Directory, you'll see, well, I'm in home slash Liam. Um, and then if you use ls to see everything in the directory, I'm going to want to change to my downloads folder, which is where I have the image. I'm then going to run SHA1SUM, uh, followed by the name of the image, using tab to complete the rest of the name. Um, and SHA1 is a hashing algorithm which basically lets you um, verify the data that you've downloaded to make sure it's not being corrupted or anything like that. So as you can see, the um, this result here matches the one here, which means that we've got a good image. Um, so we can we don't need the browser anymore. We can go ahead and quit that. And now we're just working in the terminal. So I'm going to unzip the image uh, using the unzip command followed by the name of the image. So if we run ls we'll be able to see that that's finished extracting um, and you can see the image files there. So we now need to find out um, where the disks are and what we're going to write it to. So we're going to use the command sudo fdiskl to do this. Um, and I've run this before, but the first time you run a sudo command, you'll need to enter the password. Um, so devsda is always going to be your system drive. And mine's only little because this is just running in a virtual machine. Um, and devsdb is my SD card, which is roughly 8 gigabytes. So I know that that's the right thing. Um, so to write it, I'm going to use something called dd, uh, and that again needs to be run with sudo. So the, com the uh, syntax for dd is dd block size equals 1 megabyte, that's capital M, if, which is input file, equals 2012-1216-weezyraspian.image, um, and that date may be different depending on the version of the image you've got, and then output file, is dev sdb. Now you need to be very careful with this because you may uh, write to the wrong thing and ruin your hard drive or something like that. So make sure you're writing to the right one and then once you've done that you hit enter and just wait for that to finish. And once that's done the SD card will be ready to go. So thanks for watching and I hope this has helped you out. Cheers.